Greetings HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle with a update uh, to our HP Touchpad with the Cyanogen mod uh, Android running. Uh, some of you may or may not have known that uh, as a result of the uh, uniqueness of our device that some of the apps that we would like to see show up in the market are not doing so. And uh, one of our developers has uh, graciously given us an update in the form of a zip file. Now, for you novice users, uh, how do you apply this? And so that's what we're going to go over here today, uh, among some other things as well. So what I'm going to do is hold in my power button. And you'll notice that I have the option to uh, reboot, which I will do so. And I'm going to reboot into recovery. Now this takes me into Clockwork Mod. What this is, is basically a bypass that allows you to get into uh, before it loads the operating system. It gives you the option to apply updates and do other uh, handy stuff. So what we're going to do first is take a look at the actual Clockwork Mod uh, recovery menu and see what kind of options we have here. Now first of all we have Reboot System Now which should be self-explanatory. Uh, apply Update from SD Card. Uh, we'll come back to that. Uh, wipe Data Factory Reset. Now I cannot stress enough uh, what this will do. It will wipe your data and perform a factory reset, meaning that your Android, Android operating system will look uh, like it did the first time it booted up. Now is there a value to that? Quite possibly there might be. Uh, if you see a need to uh, start from scratch, this would be the place to go for that. Now I'm using the volume up and volume down buttons to navigate through this and then the home button would activate such uh, items as you see fit. Wipe cache partition I'm gonna go ahead and do this here uh, I've selected it and now I have to go down and hit yes here the cache partition cache just like anything else is a way for your system to uh, have things kind of stored that you'll end up using again. And sometimes things get stuck, uh, similar to clearing your cache and cookies on your operating or your uh, internet uh, browser. Uh, it performs the same function. So if stuff needs to be refreshed, wiping your cache partition may be beneficial. Uh, what else do we have here? Install zip from SD card. That also looks uh, like a handy feature we'll come back to. Backup and restore. Um, let's take a look at that for a moment. So what you have here is two options. You can make a backup or you can restore from a backup. And then there's advanced restore, which uh, we're not going to get into. So what we have here in backup restore is if you decide to make a backup, you can choose this here and it will make a backup, which I'm going to do now. Keep in mind that this is going to take a while, so I will speed it up for the purpose of the video. All right, holy cow, that takes a little while to do. Uh, once it's all the way done, uh, if you go back into Backup and Restore, and you go to Restore, you'll notice. Now, I've done two of them uh, since I've, I've gotten this, and now uh, I can restore either one of these on top of a cleanly installed Android system, and it should restore uh, all of my stuff back to... Uh, the way it was at the time the backup was made. So we go back and uh, there's also mount 
uh, mounts and storage. Now, if you go in here, it gives you the ability uh, to mount this in a couple different ways. The one that I find the most valuable is mount USB storage. If I had my USB cable plugged in here and I use this, it would actually mount as a USB drive on my computer. That's very handy. So I'm going to go back and uh, take a look at advanced. Now in here are other things that, uh, you know, wipe Dalvik cache, wipe battery stats, um, report error. The, these are things that you probably won't uh, use unless, uh, well, <laughs> unless you see me tell you to in a video or other place. Um, we're going to go back to the main uh, purpose here, which is to install a zip from an SD card. Now, I said we come back to apply update. If I do that, it's going to go and specifically look for an SD card slash update.zip file. We don't have one of those right now. Uh, so we're going to go back and we're going to go to install zip from SD card. Now, when I choose that, I have the option of applying the SD card update.zip uh, or doing some other things. I'm going to choose zip from SD card. I have made an updates folder uh, with my Android device in USB mode and I have placed in the updates folder uh, the actual file that uh, we've gotten to uh, tweak the market a bit. So I'm going to choose that here and say yes and install from SD card complete that's all we have to do so I'm gonna go back and I am going to reboot the system now Okay, you'll notice here that we can boot into Clockwork Mod. Uh, that's where we just were. So if you wanted to get into it by this means, that uh, would also be an option. I'm just going to boot normally. And really, this is supposed to provide you with uh, some more market items, things that weren't showing up previously. Uh, I personally have not found anything uh, that I had looked for that I couldn't find, uh, but others have. So hopefully if, uh, if this is something that uh, you were looking for, uh, this will bring you uh, the desired results. There will be a link to uh, how to find the file or where to find the file uh, that I just uh, installed. And uh, also be aware that as other updates come out, uh, this process would also be used to install those updates as well. So we should be booting back up here in just a second. Okay, so you'll notice that the uh, the boot back up may take a little while. Uh, just be aware of that uh, after you apply an update or clear your cache or anything like that. But uh, this should uh, this should get you back into good working order, uh, and then you can go into the market and see uh, what new fun things have shown up for you. So uh, this has been Reverend Kyle, and uh, oh, looks like I got an email. This has been Reverend Kyle and uh, showing you how to use uh, the Clockwork Mod and the recovery and how to install updates.